Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC and today's video is going to be focused on the use of a journal for fiber arts and for fiber animals. So um, definitely if you're interested in this keep watching but there won't be any rabbits in this video. So what I have in front of me is actually the fiber arts and fiber animals for profit journal. And this is um, just under 200 pages, and it is a resource for people in fiber arts or people who have fiber animals or both. So this is available for $9.99 on Amazon. And I created this specifically because there's four things when you think about your fiber arts and your fiber animals that when you're doing this and you're attempting to do this for profit, whether it's a hobby for profit or whether you actually have a business, there's the four tasks that we have in our, um, like every day, there's four things that we have to do in our business. We don't have to do them every day, but we have to know about them, focus on them. So you have your four main business tasks. You have your planning, you have learning, creating, and then sharing. So these are the four things that are part of, if you're doing this whether for a hobby or for a business, the fiber arts, the fiber animals, there's four main business tasks. And obviously we need a system, we need a method that we are paying attention to these things. And we have to be able to um, make sure that we are keeping track of everything. So of course you can use like a screen, such as your phone, or you can use a computer. There's tons of different things you could do. But one of the things I prefer, because of course as a fiber artist, I spend a lot of time um, doing things that don't involve screens, such as knitting or spinning or hand carding or spending time with my rabbits, and none of it involves screens. So uh, this is a old school way, like your pen and your paper, and you can definitely carry it with you, which I suggest. And it is where you can, you write in your goals, whatever your weekly goals are, and then you just jot down and you track. What have you done? So you've got your goals, that's your planning. Um, learning, is there anything? So oftentimes there's different skills, perhaps in knitting, there's different stitches we have to learn, different techniques we have to learn. Um, whatever it is, uh, we, we're gonna keep track of it in the journal. And then uh, when you're creating something or you're planning on creating something, you can jot down where you found the pattern, did you like the pattern, What's, what is your, um, if you tweak the pattern, I find I edit my patterns a lot. If I find a pattern online, I'll often, I, I'll make my own adjustments to where I like the pattern, I prefer the pattern a different way. So this is where I would jot down all of that. If I make new patterns, um, what I was using was a notebook, but it gets full of like all sorts of things and then sometimes like my youngest grabs it and starts like coloring all over it so this is just a good place if I'm writing a pattern to keep track of everything and then also where are you sharing where have you shared something if you have a lot of social media it can be difficult to remember to share everywhere so if you help you can use this and that can help you with that or if you just want to jot down your dreams you can always use it just as like a traditional journal but this is something that I'm super excited because in February, so the month of February, we are gonna be doing something called a Focus February. And that's where we are focusing down on the things, and you're invited to join, so definitely join if you want, but focus on, focus down, focus on the things that are true priorities. So if you have a lot of different patterns, for example, that you want to knit or crochet, this is simply saying pick one or pick one a week or you know really focus it down instead of um normally i say have big great audacious goals and dreams and always dream and goal that's important but this february we are going to really focus it down and focus only on a few different things in life and we're going to be using our journal to help with that of course 
in the members uh, section of the bonus money member section where we're sharing that we've already shared that and they already know about this and are participating along so these are the main business tasks I would encourage you to use a journal it doesn't have to be this journal but if you do want this journal we'll put the link in the video below in the show notes and we wanted to share this with you so Hopefully you are having a great start to your 2021. Definitely if you're interested in more of the business side, which this is a business, more of the business side video, that's what we talk a lot about in our members videos and also the Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns podcast. So those are the things we, I'll try to keep this under six minutes. Those are the places to go if you're interested in the business. Otherwise, in the majority of our videos, let's get back to bunnies and spinning. Thank you guys.